Hi everyone, it's Miss Bossy, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I lighten my extensions with developer only. Um, the extensions that I'm going to be lightening today is my Arjuni 3C hair. Um, it's virgin Cambodian hair. Um, and I'll actually show you the type of effect I'm going for. It's, it's kind of light. It's uh, the equivalent to, I want to say, like a number, between a number two and a number four. And I put henna on it, so it's kind of red. So I'm um, going for something similar to this. Well, you can't really see it because of the lighting, but it's like a, a reddish brown color. Probably around like a number three or a six. Um, before I get started, I've had a few questions about what is the difference between Arjuni 2, 2D and 3C. So I'm going to show you guys the difference really quick. This is a wig that I made with my Arjuni 2D hair. Um, I actually took my other wig apart and re this one because I added some 3D in the top, which is this curlier hair right around the perimeter. But this is the 2D. And... This is some 3C that I have, so I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two. The 2D is wavy and it has little spirals on the ends. The 3C is a coil all the way from top to bottom and it's it has a bigger diameter, like a bigger curl diameter, whereas the 2D is a little bit tighter. Um, and just for reference, I can show you guys what the 3D looks like. I actually already lightened this with developer only. Um, so this is the difference between the 3C and the 3D. And so you can kind of see the color difference when I hold them up together. This is the color that I'm going for. And I may actually end up putting henna on the 3C depending on how it takes. So I have six swifts of 3C that I'm going to work with. Uh, but first I'm going to show you what items are needed in order to lighten with developer. Um, I use 40 volume developer simply because that's what I use. It works for me. Um, a lot of people don't like to use it, but I do. So I, you're going to need 40 volume developer. Um, glove. And for after we wash it out, I use Suds. I actually use their shampoo. I don't have it in front of me, but I use Suds shampoo and then the Suds conditioner. Uh, and right after I wash it and do a light conditioner, I condition it with Sebastian Penetrate. Can you see that? It's a protein conditioner. And I let that sit for a while and then I use some Joyco Moisture Recovery Conditioner. So, oh, and also, when I do mine, developing with, I use foil, I wrap the hair in foil, and then I process it with heat. And for the heat, I use a space heater. <laughs> It's the easiest thing for me to use because I can point the heat directly at the foil um, and I have easy access to open the foil up and check the color. So, and I'll show you the hair that I'm going to use. I'm actually not going to dye all six wefts. Not dye, but lift. This is my shortest weft. I believe it's around, I want to say 14 inches. So I'm going to lighten this one because it's going to go around my leave out area. This, I'm not going to lighten that one, um, and I'm actually going to lighten this piece, this low luster 22 inch piece, and I may actually lighten one more, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and lighten the 18 inch piece as well, 16 to 18 inch piece, and this is all low luster, so I'll go ahead and get everything ready, and then I'll show you guys the process of actually lightening the hair with developer only. So we're back and I am reporting to you live from the bossy bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and start with the bleach. And you know what? I'm sorry, the developer. <laughs> this is developer only. 
I'm using 40 volume. I have my glove on. I only need my glove on one hand. And I have my hair laid out on the foil already. And all I do basically is pour the developer right onto the hair. And I don't use a comb because I don't want to stretch the hair out with the developer on it. And I just hold the wet with one hand and I kind of squish it on. Pour it on. Probably should have put a glove on the other hand now that I think about it. I just, I normally have it on my left hand. I have a little bit more to this left. I don't know if you guys can see this or if I'm just out of view of the camera, but a little bit more. together in the foil. So this is a bigger piece of foil and then fold like a burrito. And now I'm going to go ahead and process this with the heat. Um, you can also use a blow dryer or hair dryer. You can put it in a window. Um, there are different methods you can use. I do not recommend putting this in an oven or a microwave or anything with excessive heat like that. Um, you don't want to cook the hair. You just want to speed up the processing of the developer. So I'm going to go ahead and process this with heat probably for about 20 to 30 minutes but I'm going to check on it and every few minutes to see if it's reached the color that I want and then I'll be back to show you the results.